passenger in a taxi cab reached out and tapped the driver on the shoulder. The driver screamed, ran off the road, almost hit a bus, ran up on the sidewalk and stopped just before a shop window. There was silence in the cab for a moment. And then the driver said, please don't ever do that again. And the passenger said, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't realize that just tapping you on the shoulder would, would scare you so much. And the driver said, it's, it's not your fault. I, this is my first day driving a cab. For the last 25 years, I've, I've been driving a hearse for a funeral home. So context makes a difference. The context we're in. A tap on a shoulder might not normally bother you unless you thought it was coming out of a casket. We have shifted context. We don't know quite the extent to which the terror and the rattling will impact us yet. There is much unknown about the time that lays ahead, but the more I move out of denial and move into the reality of what we're into, I think there is very grave cause for concern. Just simply to see a White House press officer standing up in a first press conference and bold-faced lie, straight out, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows there weren't a million people there at the inauguration. I mean, to try to say something that everybody knows isn't true. Creating an alternative reality that benefits a few and damages the masses. So we come to declare truth. We come to declare reality. We come to declare it boldly. We come to get out of our heads and declare it with our hearts. Greater things are coming. Greater things are yet to be done in this city. We are not going to settle for malaise, injustice, violence, racism, and everything else that this guy brings. We are not going to settle for it because we are people of God. And no matter who is in the Oval Office, God is still on the throne.